you doing? Doing driving noise, you absolute spatter. Hello there once again, my friends, and welcome back to Robert Ludlum's The Bourne Conspiracy, where we are in a very stickered up little car. Um, we're in a mini. Uh, you wouldn't have guessed that by all the... Avoid the police! If the police. Uh, you wouldn't have guessed that by all of the... Oh, you bugger. You absolute bugger. You wouldn't have guessed that by all of the obvious sponsorship and product placements throughout the game. But we are in... Oh, there was a jump. There was a jump there. Okay. Okay. So this is the driving segment of the game. It's literally the one level. That's... Oh, we can't go into the tunnel just yet. Okay. They've picked us up. No, they haven't. We're still in the car. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the one little driving segment. Uh, they basically just... Oh my god, I'm going to turn the volume down. They basically just wanted to make sure that this uh, this game was as close to an action movie as they could possibly get. Uh, so they included as many different kind of tropes and uh, like level types and set pieces and things as they possibly could. And I mean, it's not... It's not bad. Like, I, I quite enjoy it, actually. Uh, it, it just makes for a pretty well-rounded game. Like, they, oh, you absolute bejeebus nipple. Uh, they just wanted to make sure that it was, like, quite a well-rounded action movie experience. Like, literally anything that they could do to make the game feel like an action movie. And that's one of the reasons why it's, like... Uh, one of my favorite kind of tie-in games. Oh, hello, quick time events. <laughs> one of the reasons it's not one of my faves. Um, but yeah, no, it is like genuinely a, a pretty decent game. Like, I know... Oh, shite, a brick, I pressed the wrong button. I know uh, movie tie-ins get a lot of flack. They get, uh, usually because they're made to be produced very quickly. But this wasn't kind of in line with a movie or anything, it, it was just kind of a thing that existed. Uh, for that reason, I do kind of enjoy it a fair bit. But anyway, I'm rambling. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Aaron Hastings. Uh, we make really good gaming videos every single day here, uh, now that we're back from the old hiatus. Uh, so it would be grand of you escape the police before... Okay, so now what time is going on here? All right, let's drive away! Get to the bridge. Uh, the driving is not the best ever in the world. Um, did I tell you to subscribe yet? If, if you're new around here, then probably subscribe. I would recommend it highly. Uh, just because... Just because, you know? I, I feel like we have a nice laid-back community type vibe going on here. We just... Let's play videos, just simple to the point. Just playing these games, doing some silly voices and... Oh, hello. Oh yeah, I forgot you could do that. Okay. You can slow things down to... Oh, oh, uh, avoid crashing is the goal of it. This mini's indestructible, man. The amount of times I've crashed it, the amount of things I've driven through. It's... it's it, what? Literally, I turned there to avoid him, and he swerved into the way that I was turning, so that, like, he crashed into his... Any See? Look at that. I'm, like, turning to the right to avoid them. So they're swerving into us, so like I will crash. It's a bit ridiculous. It's not the best driving game in the world. Obviously, it's not a driving game. It's just this one level. Uh, actually, we're gonna not make that, are we? No. Oh, we did. We just made that, like by the skin of our teeth, quite literally. Uh, I mean, not literally the, the skin of our teeth, but like it was a very narrow window in which we actually made that. Um, but yeah, no, it's a decent game. Subscribe, we make daily gaming videos that are really good. Just kind of chill, they're laid back. We just talk, uh, talk crap really, make silly voices, and it's, it's just very simple, very fun, uh, and I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll enjoy being a part of the little family. Leave a comment down below if you are new here or if you've been here for a while, just get involved let's have some conversation uh, about how terrible i am at driving this i mean it's not simple to do really it's it's not uh you know the most advanced driving uh, mechanics in the world but also i'm not really very good at driving games so i guess the fault lies with both parties really uh you know i'm not good at driving and this is not the best 
begin for driving in. Um, I'm really bad at it, truth be told, but we're, we're making do. So yeah, this level is basically just this driving section here. It's, it's not bad. It, it kind of just adds to the entire experience, as I said, making this game feel like an action movie. Um, there's not really that much more to be said, apart from, oh, like a bull in a china shop. I think quite literally that's an achievement that you can get for driving through that shop and smashing things up. Um, but yeah, no, so we're just driving along here. I don't know what how much there is to be said, apart from just getting angry at the cops and the crashes. But it's, yeah, I'm not much of like a, a rager, unless, you know, I fail over and over again, then I get quite angry. But you know, I'm not, I'm not the sort of like, let's play that will be like, Ah, oh, you bastard, what are you driving into this for? Like, in, I, I could go with like angry Geordie accent, like, Yeah man, what you doing? Different driving into us, you absolute spacker. But I mean, like, I, I feel like we're kind of, we're, we're better than that. Not in a, in a pretentious way, but we're just kind of, we're more calm about it. We're more relaxed. We're like, you know what? These lads are driving in was like left, right and centre, I'm constantly crashing, this is not, the mechanics aren't great, I'm not great, it's a combination that's pretty deadly really, because we're just, oh look, we're going up in smoke here at this point, like we're literally steaming, um, but no, I, I just, I feel like we're just very laid back, it's like, you know, especially when we play like the shooting segments, we just kind of bumble along like, oh, that guy's shooting at us, that's not very nice of him, is it? Uh, and we just, oh, now we're driving through a freaking museum or something, of course we are. Is this like the Louvre? The Louvre? Louvre, we're in, I mean, we're in Paris, so the, it's some sort of art museum or something that we're just absolutely destroying. Brace yourself. Sit down. Be humble. Shite, which way we're going now? It's not very clear sometimes about um, where I'm actually going. So out the park. I went into the park just to go out the park. Of course I did. All right. Um, just this mini is absolutely indestructible. Just literally tearing up the streets. Of, oh, look at that. We've got a mini dealership. As if there wasn't enough product placement, we just happened to drive past a nice little showroom. Like, hey, look, there's more minis. We do good cars, don't we? Real good cars. They're proper indestructible, right? You can drive them and crash them into literally anyone and everyone. We're just absolutely smashing things up. Any normal car by this point would have like absolutely conked out, but not the Mini. No, not the Mini. The Mini is, uh, is, is God. It's like a God car. Like an Egyptian God car. Slifer the Cooper Dragon. Obelisk the Mini Tormentor. That's what we're calling this car. The Winged Car of Guardian of Ra. I don't know the freaking... Oh my god, that's a bus. We just full on like head on collided with a bus. But nope, Mini's still going. We've had steam coming out of us like since about 20 crashes ago. But we're still trooping on. Absolutely just more than anything that comes our way. Um, we're literally, you'd think you were driving a tank. A very speedy like... With drifty, I, I'm not good at driving, can you tell? Uh, a very drifty kind of thing. I hope they don't look at this and use this as like an indication of whether they should get... Oh, Jesus, we're going on a train track now, like... Uh, I'm hoping they don't use this as an indication of whether they should give us a driver's license or not. Because I promise, like, in the real world, I'd be a lot more considerate of uh, other road users, uh, kind of rules of the road, things like that. However, in, in a game like this, you don't really have the luxury of, of uh, being careful. So, I mean, I guess I could use more of this just because... Yep, yeah, that's me. Scream my name, girl. Scream my name. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry for being inappropriate. But, yeah, so I, I mean, I guess the adrenaline does help stuff. It does say press Y to slow down time, even though I just did it and used up, like, my entire bar. But it makes cornering and things like that and oh yeah okay that's why it wanted me to use the thing because I'm literally driving in oncoming traffic now um, and I obviously still have the time limit uh, I've run out of the, the bar so I can't actually use it anymore but we're, we're just driving along putting along like it's quite a nice little segment uh, obviously I'm you know just chatting crap over the top of it because it's it's just what we do here on the channel and we just talk 
incessantly. Um, but I mean, yeah, let's have some conversations in the comments. We've got the Eiffel Tower in the background there, so clearly, you know, just like, hey, look, we are in Paris, we're going to take full advantage of that. Maybe these roads were based on real roads, very probably not. But I mean, we've got this nice bridge going on here. Oh, now we've got to escape the police again. Uh, and we still have time limits, of course we do. Uh, it's it's quite a linear section. There are like various different routes that you can take. So it's oh, although we're clearly going to drive into the train station here. I don't freaking I can't words. But uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, make sure to subscribe. The next episode, I know this, these past couple episodes of this series uh, have kind of been like. The, the kind of action levels, it's like, look, we got a massive freaking boss fight, and now we've got a car chase. It's all very epic and intense, but uh, the next couple of levels, we will be getting back to just the standard gameplay. Uh, so make sure you do subscribe if you are new. If you haven't seen everything up to this point, uh, you're probably not getting a very good impression of this game, apart from like just this one level, which is one unique standalone level, really. Um, I'll put a link to like a playlist in the iCard which will have everything up to this point so you can kind of watch what the full game is like uh, by the end of this we will indeed have a full let's play it's uh, one thing we do on this channel we aim to kind of beat every game so that there's just like a nice full series you can have a watch through everything that's happened oh here we go more quick time events I'm guessing there we go of course all the uh, it, all the super intense stuff is going to be Quick time event driven, so this is gonna. This is pretty epic. We're like literally beating up like the hoods off the car. Uh, I'm not sure if that was damage that we did to it or if it's just cutscene damage. It just ah, oh, well, it's blowing up now, isn't it? Uh, we're we're blowing up everything, but that's not gonna stop us. No, because we are epic. Freaking Jason Bourne doesn't take no fire or police cars or oncoming trains. It's, uh, you know, signs that he should stop. No, he faces danger and drives away from it epically. Bad guys don't look at explosions or something. And then we just casually park the car up. Of course, he kind of come back to the car. It's just crashed like 50 times. It's dead. It's destroyed. It's vanquished. Turn the volume up a little bit. This cutscene is very quiet compared to the sirens and whatnot. Oh, we're cutting our hair now. Oh, oh, Keith. Now Keith. Very romantic. Very intense close up to the... Oh, there we go. Oh no, she's becoming attached to me. What have I done? I can't believe I allowed this to happen. Oh, I'm gonna kiss her back anyway. I know I'm an assassin. I shouldn't get too attached to people, but uh... Just screw it. Literally. But anyway guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. If you enjoyed this little mini chase section type thing, please do leave a like rating down below. And if you're new around here, as I said, please do subscribe. We make really good gaming videos every single day and we will be back to the proper gameplay in the next episode of this series. So stick around, there's a playlist if you wanna watch everything up until this point. But anyway guys, I hope you're having a really good day. I will see you really soon. Share the channel with your friends and subscribe.